Hey everybody, welcome back. Got another Moira Vod review. Uh, this time it's me. So I asked on Reddit uh, if anybody would get any use out of me playing in a metal ranked game. And I wanted to try it out. I have a second account that I use for playing quick play uh, because the MMR is lower because quick play has an MMR. So sometimes if I want to play Doomfist or something I'm absolutely terrible with, uh, I can actually play a little bit without having to, to get rolled. So... Uh, I, I hadn't played comp on this, so this uh, account is in silver, at least on, on support it is, so uh, I wanted to play in a silver game. So in this game, I wanted to point out, one, what I'm looking, why I'm looking around like that is I'm like, why is my team not there? The reason why I want to share this match is because it just shows how important high ground is. And you see how I just walked by them? Like, I looked at them, and I knew they weren't going to chase me. That's I looked at them and just kept going, right? Now, if they had chased me, I, I would have faded. I still would have kept going in the direction that I wanted to go. Uh, but I would have faded, because I could have gotten up to the Mega, and then I would have had fade again by the time they, any of them got to me. Um, I actually make quite a few mistakes in this match, uh, and my, my fade jumps are awful. Um, but I, I want to show it because it really highlights how important high ground is. Notice my notice my orbs. I, I'll probably I'll try and point them out a lot. Otherwise, just pay attention. Every time I shoot my orb, one of the things that you'll notice in my reviews is I always tell people don't shoot the orb directly at the person you're trying to get with it. Shoot it so it's going to get value afterwards, right? And this is exact. This is what I'm talking about. And this is why I wanted to do this because this is now you can see exactly what I do or the advice that I am I am trying to give. Uh, I wouldn't say completely mimic the gameplay here because I I did too much damage. I, I, I firmly believe that Moira should be damage heavy. Um, I was like full on DPS, high ground only Moira. Um, so I in the end, I would say I did too much damage, but I, it was because I really wanted to highlight how important high ground is, right? We still won, uh, but my team was definitely pissed off. I was getting yelled at uh, for sure. I wasn't in voice, but I was getting typed at um, this on the attack, on the attack round because uh, I wasn't healing. Uh, and then when the rounds flipped, they were like, oh, well, I guess you don't need to heal because you're doing damage. I probably should have screen capped it. I thought it was pretty funny, but anyway. Um, the specific, and you notice, like, I'm not, the mechanics here aren't crazy. Um, I, I specifically tried not to do anything too nuts. Um, I, I don't, the intent here is not for you to just be able to replicate what I'm doing. It's it's the concepts is what is important. Uh, just like in my reviews, I, I don't necessarily want to point out a specific thing you're doing wrong in a specific moment. I want you to point out, or I want to point out what is useful and what in general you can use. So again, high ground. And look, I'm the only person on the high ground, right? In silver, that's a big deal. Um, I, I've noticed, I would say in the higher ranks, um, I, I would say people don't really start using high ground. <sighs> Shoot, even through diamond, I want to say they don't really use high ground. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go lessons. Because this actually ended up not being a good ultimate. So, on maps like this, uh, and Numbani, for example, um, King's Row, maps where there's like corridors like this and high ground, you can just abuse the high ground, right? So the reason why I don't think this was a very good ult is like, yeah, did I, I get a kill, but I wanted my team to move forward. I had split the enemy team. I wanted my team to collapse on the remaining people and us to win the fight. And that didn't happen. You see, I screwed up my fade jump there. Or, like, my fade. And we still ended up losing that fight. So, I just go back go back up on the high ground. I think there's a I, there's a couple of different ways to get back to the high ground here. Um, I, again, I, I don't focus on that stuff very much. I am I'm mostly just about paying attention to what's going on. Um, I, I definitely could improve in a lot of ways. Okay, their Moira ulted for absolutely no reason. She wasn't looking at anybody. So I just, I was like, okay, now I'm going to use this time to rotate. Because my team's probably going to back up anyway. So I'm just going to use this time to rotate back to my spot. And you look, look how distracting I'm being. Right? And this is one of those things where like, a lot of the reasons that people on your team might not be doing well is because they're just taking too much damage. Well, if 
Look at that. Like, I'm just, I'm literally not even, I'm not aiming, I'm not doing anything, right? Um, but as I was saying, if you're just distracting, look at that, they just fall over. And then if your team's not taking damage, you don't need to heal. And look how long I stay up here. I actually die up here. The Junkrat comes up and kills me, I think. It's on this fight. Um, and you can see how, that yeah, here he comes. Um, and I was being cheeky. I, I should have, I, when I faded there, you know how when I tell people to fade to get out and get out? Uh, I didn't do it. I didn't take my own advice and I got killed. So, right, you can, you can see that's why you get punished for not fading or not escaping when you fade. And then also, you see, he finally... Oh, my corpse is there. You fi he, somebody finally came to the high ground and challenged me, but then what does he do? He drops right back to the low ground. Right. Skip ahead a little bit here. So look at that orb. You see how it follows, it follows the team? And I even get a kill with it, right? And I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know how to, like... You see that? There goes the... It's like... I I think about that trajectory before I shoot the orb. Right? It's not perfect, right? You do it on the fly. Right? And I shoot plenty of crappy orbs, too. Like that one. That was a perfect example, right? It hits something funky on the ground and goes straight up, and I get zero value out of it, right? The idea is that you're getting... That you're doing those things, you're going to get value out of them more often. Okay? So I, to I baited the um, brig here. I knew she had ult. So I baited her with my ult and then stayed far enough away that even if she ulted and shield bashed at me, she wasn't going to get me, right? And that was me taking advantage basically of a low-ranked player that, that doesn't really know, right? And you see how I, I walked away from him because when he ran in because I was like, okay, he's going to ult, right? And, then, and that's, that's stuff like that is why I am high rank. I am not mechanically that great. Um, I, I have reviewed people in Platinum that are better mechanically than I am. Um, I even screwed up that bay jump. You can get up to the high ground there. But I, I tend to usually know what's going to happen next. And you saw, even though I didn't make it all the way up here, I'm just staying up here. This is a good place to be. I don't need to be on the low ground, right? And you can see, like, is my team dying a lot? Yes. Um, they, they died a lot here, right? Because they don't have the positioning strategy that they should have and that's usually that's why you know a lot of people are in these ranks right okay so i'm flanking them now their brig's not healing because she's chasing me right and my goal is to get more than one person to do that because if it's just one person chasing me all i'm doing is making it a 4v4 right what i want to do is get multiple people to chase me right? and see this is this is a good example of like if I just stood there and healed my team, they're just going to die, right? The, on on average, they're just going to die. And that's why you won't climb if you just sit there and heal. Right? Because you're basically relying on the fact that your team is going to do something. Okay, This is actually another bad ult. Um, let's go back. I was... I, so, I when I started to do this match, I was like, I, I don't want to do anything too crazy. Uh, because, I, I don't know, I don't I don't want to just shit all over them and, and, and teach you nothing, right? So, like, I, I'm kind of just, almost, I'm, I'm kind of just screwing around at this point, right? There's, uh, and that's what that ult was. I was trying to get them all to turn around and maybe leave my D.Va alone. Like, there was no real reason to use that ult. That wasn't a very good ult, right? This is actually that the diva was standing there because that's what she was typing at me to, <laughs> to please heal more, right? And I, I didn't, I didn't say anything. I just kept my. I mean, I had the chat on, I guess, but I, I didn't speak to the team the whole time. I intentionally didn't want to communicate. So again, you see, I'm using the high ground, okay, going for a flank, right? But my my team is dying before I like I rotate, right? And that's one of the dangers of what I'm doing. I, it's it does work. And you see how I, I pull their aggro here? It's... And, and our, our D.Va ends up getting a kill, right? I didn't swing the fight, but I kept it I kept it kind of alive, right? 
now I'm just waiting here. You see, I'm using my sound cues. I could hear the Reaper, so I drop down. And I know he's chasing me. Or not. If he's not chasing me, at least he's at least coming after me. Um, I actually solo ult him a little bit later. See, another fade jump. I tried to get up there, mess it up. I can't remember if I die here or not. No, I don't. Okay. This might be when I solo ult him. I can't remember. Yeah, because I was like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. I, I want to get the kill, right? The, it, it wasn't, honestly, a bad play. It wasn't a great play. Because, right, it's overtime, and we're about to cap, um, and it puts him back in spawn, which is, is good. But there was probably still a better use of my ult, right? But again, the, the point is, like, I'm not doing anything really crazy mechanically or even really map-wise. I'm just using the high ground, right? I was a little bit worried there because I was I wasn't ult tracking very well at that point. I I didn't know if he had ult or not, so I was no I was keeping my distance there. And then we end up capping right. So me getting them to chase me around in the spawn kept the cart moving the entire time, right? So that's that's one of those things that I talk about. Instead of riding the cart, you want to be ahead of the team, right? As far as you can without feeding, right, or getting killed, um, so you can. Uh, keep the cart moving so i i like so i screwed up i accidentally jumped over the ledge i wanted to stay up there and then and then i tried to fade jump i think again and screwed it up again right i am i i am like a klutz yep see i screwed it up i'm, I'm a total klutz when it comes to like falling off ledges and screwing up my fade jumps and stuff like that then i tried to fade jump off of there and i screwed that one up right so i'm on the low ground right this is what I'm, I'm saying. You don't have to be a god at fade jumping or anything like that uh, to, to climb, you know, pretty high, right? Okay, so the Tracer recalls. I knew she recalls. I'm like, she's stuck here. Okay, I'm going to go bug her for a little bit, shoot an orb at her, right? And now that I'm on the low ground, I, I am going to hang with my team a little bit and do a little bit more healing. But, again, I want to be on the high ground, right? Realistically, I want to be over there. I think I end up going back over there at some point. I don't remember. Um... I don't have the whole thing memorized. I thought about going over there because my Kiriko was over there. And then I was like, okay, she can teleport to me. And and helping her with the um, with the duel, right? One of the things that Moira excels at is, uh, you know, going from one place to another quickly to help with, like, individual duels. Right? And see, I screwed up my fade jump again. <laughs> It's uh, it's real. I wasn't kidding when I when I, I know I've said that in reviews before. So, so you see that I didn't. That's not aimed at anybody. But look look at the value that it's getting, right? This is a cheeky little move here. If you're on defense, if you just poke out this window just a little bit, you see I'm contesting. Now, even in a higher ranked game, sometimes they will not look at you right away. So here, I was just like, eh, I'm gonna ult. <laughs> I was, I, again, I'm being cheeky with my ult. I didn't, I didn't want to be like overbearing with my ults and just like steamroll. And that there had to be ways to do that, and that was one of them, right? I'm, I'm more, I want you guys to learn more about positioning, right? Because that's something I talk about a lot, and like orb usage and stuff like that, and why I'm where I am. So again, look, I'm just, I'm just hanging out behind them. But look where I am. I'm next to cover. Um, I, I haven't really talked about that a lot. Mostly because I've been on the high ground. I haven't really been, had to be near, like, corner cover because I could just duck back on the high ground. You notice I didn't fade right away, right? Um, I think I have another match. I think I'm going to do, like, two or three of these uh, and focus on different things. So, anyway, here, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm trolling at this point, right? Just trying to stall the cart and live a little bit um wasn't really a reason to do that i mean i, I you could and my, my team could come back and look they did stall it um I, so I, I guess that was fine it's 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 kind of hit or miss whether or not it's good actually maybe i can't remember do we full hold them here maybe this maybe i was thinking of some something else oh yeah I, I think we actually do full hold them <laughs> so never mind it was a really good play um 
in my head at the time, I was just like, ah, I'm just going to fuck with him. And, and you know, I, I didn't really have any intent on winning or, like, achieving anything. It was more about just showing you guys this, how important it is to stay on the high ground. Actually, there's about a minute left. Yeah, so I guess we did full hold him, so that's funny. So, yeah, that stall right there, staying alive right there, actually in completely prevented them from capturing. You see I shot that orbit in a against the wall so it's going to bounce down here. Okay. And then again, I just I'm just staying up here, healing my team when I need to a little bit, right? And so if you're in silver or gold, for sure you can just abuse this. Just start going on the high ground. Right? You don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to you know what I mean? Like, look at this. I, it's, I, I'm, there, there's no special thing here. And again, I'm just ulting to ult. So maybe we'll cut, I, cover, uh, maybe we can cover ult usage in another one. Um, but, I, you know, I had to do something. So I don't think there's really anything else here yet because kind of the end of the match. So, yeah, big picture with this match, uh, for sure. High ground, high ground, high ground, high ground, right? I, I probably could have healed more and, and not gone off as, on as many adventures as I did, like where I, you know, chase that Reaper and stuff. Like some of those, I, I kind of went too far ahead. What I want you to learn here is how important it is to use the high ground and how critical it is to use the high ground. Like just, look at that. We, we won the game because I used high ground, right? It didn't matter how many times my team died, but nothing mattered. And they didn't look at it because I just kept killing them, right? So this is not, this is not, you don't need to have a, be a, a GM level anything to do this. Okay, so cool. I hope this helps. Let, let me know what, what you guys think about this. Um, I, I don't want to do like an unranked GM series or anything like that. Uh, that type of thing doesn't appeal to me, but maybe these like kind of specific matches uh, where we cover a certain concept or, or something like that. Maybe we can, I want to explore something like that. Just whatever, whatever helps you guys improve, right? Because I, I, uh, that's that's my goal here is, is helping you guys improve so okay well that'll about do it for this one uh i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one and uh good luck